If you enjoy this content, like and subscribe, and don't forget to comment below. Welcome back to the channel. As you probably realized by now, I'm an expert at a great many things. However, there's one thing that I haven't mastered quite yet, and that is the culinary arts. Until today. Today, I am going to attempt to become a master chef. And on that note, let's not waste any time, we'll just jump into it. All right, so I think the best way to learn how to become a master chef is by learning from the greats. And when I say greats, I mean the celebrities who have these kind of shows and they show you how to make recipes and cook and you know, whatever. So the first person that came to mind was Martha Stewart. So you go to Martha Stewart's channel and there's an advertisement that includes her. Hi, I'm Martha Stewart. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. The problem is, if you actually look at her videos, she's not in any of them. Basically, you have these, I mean, they are recipes, but it's like somebody else's hands making the food. I actually couldn't find when I was looking through a video with Martha Stewart in it. Okay, literally one day after I recorded that, Martha Stewart uploaded a video with her in it. It's not a cooking tutorial or anything, but just thought I should clarify since it's gonna be up there right away. So I think we can check that off the list of not gonna be very helpful. Because we're going for the best. We gotta get the best tips. We want it straight from the horse's mouth or the expert's mouth. All right, so next person I thought of was Alton Brown. Um, he has a show called Good Eats. I also took a look at his channel before doing this, and he is in his videos. He's, he does his own videos, but there's not a lot of uh, recipes or like cooking tips and stuff. Jim Pace has worked with me for uh, 15 years? 16, 16 years. Hi, Alton Brown here in my closet to tell you that bow ties are cool. Yeah, that's not really gonna work either. The last person I thought of was Gordon Ramsay, who does have a lot of recipes and a lot of cooking tips. So um, this one, haven't seen yet. Let's check it out and hopefully I can learn something from it. First, how to chop an onion. This is the root. That's absolutely crucial. Leave that on there. If you cut that off, the onion will start to bleed and you'll start crying rapidly. Bleed. I didn't know onions could bleed. Okay. Uh, this is called basic cooking skills, but um, yeah, I guess onions can bleed. All right, let's keep going. Slice going forward. Let the weight of the knife do the work. Wait, he just cut the root. He just said, don't cut that. What? Uh, he's making the onion bleed. The onion's gonna bleed. Three fingers, one in front, two behind. Fingers on top of the onion, point the knife towards the root, as close to the root as possible. Push the knife halfway into the onion, slightly tilt the knife down, one at the top, and then gripping the onion like a tennis ball. All right, this one's a little too complex. Let's just, you know, let's move on to the next one. I don't know if I can get down with the knives yet. Okay, what's, the, what's his next tip? Rice, that's easy. Basmati rice, cheers. And I'm gonna show you how to cook it perfectly. Now, start off with 400 grams of rice. Rice in, spot on. So what I'm gonna do now is just rinse off the dust and the starch. Okay, I can do this. And just rinse the rice. I can do that. This is looking pretty good so far once it's cooked. Rice into the pan. Now, to make a plain, fluffy rice exciting, we're gonna infuse it. Three cardamom pods. I'm sorry, three what? Three cardamom pods. 
Cardamopods? I have no idea. Do you just have that laying around in your kitchen? What is that? And then, star anise. I'm sorry, what? Whole star anise. What is that? Now these are beautiful. Whole star anise. It makes it really nice and fragrant. Okay, all right. First two, he's a little above my expertise on this so far. All right, let's, number three, let's just. Uh... This is basically a filleted side of salmon. It's been taken off the bone and now skin off. Pick up your knife, filleting knife. Okay, I don't have one of those, but it's okay. We'll, we'll make it work. Twist the knife almost as if it's horizontally underneath the salmon. And then just all the way through. One nicely skinned salmon, just like a perfect snake skin. Beautiful. All right, I think uh, <laughs> it looks pretty difficult, but the salmon slapping is <laughs> honestly the best. <laughs> okay, so if you take a look at this really quickly, I'm pretty sure they did a second cut of the salmon slap. There's no way this drop causes that slap. So I'm pretty sure at some point, some producer was like, Gordon, really nice job, loving the salmon slap, but we just wanna take the decibels up a little bit. I'm kind of thinking, I had this roommate and his girlfriend and him were just, say no more, I know exactly what you want. All right, um, feeling a little demoralized. These don't seem very basic to me, but last one, how to sharpen a knife. Let's go. It's far harder working in the kitchen with a blunt knife than it is with a sharp knife. The secret behind keeping a sharp knife, sharpen it before and every time you use it. First, grip the steel. What is that? What is that thing? I don't have one of those. Now, 45 degrees, confident grip, confident grip with the knife. This is the butt of the steel. Really important you keep your fingers behind that. You never grip a steel with your fingers over that, because the knife comes back in, you've just lost a finger. Lost a finger, all right, okay. We're done here. I need some <laughs> basic, more basic skills than this. I'm not a master yet, all right? I'm learning the very basics. Let's just tone it down a little bit. Next time on the Super Expert Channel. All right, so I found this simple kitchen life hacks video. It just doesn't work.